hello guys good evening welcome back to my channel in this video i'll show you how to migrate a DynamoDB table from one account to different account so in this case we are using a im user to migrate from one account to different account through s3 buckets import and export so let me tell you what is a DynamoDB. Uh, it's an amazon DynamoDB table and it is a fully managed nosql database and it provides fast and predictable performance with seamless and scalability and it will offer an offload and uh, it will uh, burden the administrative purpose and uh, the operating system in a distributed database so that you don't have to worry about hardware provisioning setup and configuration and replication some patching or cluster scaling so this is uh, amazon is offering so this is a dynamic table, table architecture diagram so so i have an account uh, a and i have account b so i need to transfer my dynamo db table with using im user and with s3 buckets importing and exporting to another account so let's uh, how to achieve this let's get back to the console and let's create a dynamo db test table so this is my source account So if you can see here, the fast and flexible NoSQL database service for any scale. So this is the DynamoDB table from AWS. So let's go back to tables. So if you see here in my source account, there is no tables. So let me create a table. I'll go for test DynamoDB table. And partition key you need to give as the table's primary key. I'll give it as PK and the sort key sk i'll go for it is a default and i'll go for table settings as default and you can go for customized settings like a dynamo db standard or dynamo stable or one availability zone so i'll go with that default settings and if you want to give it any key pairs you want to integrate with lambda so you can give it tags and triggers and just need to create a table and it is in provisioning So you can create according to your use case whatever the dynamo tables you need to use so it gets back to the dash dynamo tv table and it is successfully created so let's get back into this so you can see here it is provision and there are no tables there is no data table size and this is my overview of the dash dynamo tv table and if you click on indexes so indexes are like use it to easily query the data like uh, speeding up the data it has two types of data uh, two types of indexes so one is a uh, local index and the second one is global index so you can create uh, according to your use case and here i need to create export table items so i'll create an item so what is an item so an item is a raw data you can the store in the form of items so you your data is will be stored in the form of items so you need to create a data like a primary key test the values we need to hear and the sort key is demo test demo and that's it you need to create an item and you can go ahead and uh, create item in a form or json views so if you are similar with a json view you can go ahead so I have given my random data in my table. So I have zero bytes. So let me check. So this is my demo uh, PK and uh, the sort key demo. So I need to transfer my table from one account to different account using IAM role and uh, S3 bucket pol permission policy. So before that I need to check that export and streams so the dynamo db stream details uh, it should be enabled why because it will uh, create a backup image in inside a dynamo table and uh, the dynamo db uh, streams should be in new and old images so you need to click here both the new and old images of the changed item so you need to click on enable stream and that's it and before that you need to go ahead and uh do it in uh, s3 so you need to export and import from s3 so that you need a iam policy to 
access in the source account so you need to transfer your table into s3 so check that uh, here in the export and streams you having an export to s3 option so you need to click on export s3 so you need to enable PATR. So PATR is a point in time recovery. It is one of the backup system in uh, DynamoDB table. So I need to transfer my uh, DynamoDB table from one account to different account. So I need to enable this PATR. So it will charge some uh, less cost. So you need to give here a different AWS account. So this is my different AWS account which is having a DevOps name. So copy the account number paste it here and you need to give a uh, s3 destination s3 bucket so i have one destination s3 bucket so here i'm having a one s3 bucket as destination bucket s3 mumbai so you need to copy this name also copy in the source So you need to enter here destination S3 bucket naming prefix or if you want to any folder in backup so you can give it as prefix or some other folders you want. So before that uh, you need to create IAM roles and you need to attach policies and all these things. So let's get back to the IAM policy. So I have an IAM policy for accessing a destination bucket from the uh, source account. So you need to copy this code for I am so this is my user Tarun so I have logged in as Tarun from this uh, source account so you need to attach this policy here right itself so I have created a test uh, R&D access for the this role so I have removed that so let me create an uh, inline policy for this so I have a JSON code so this JSON code will allow you to access the destination bucket in the uh, target account. So I am role of the source account. So you need to copy this. So this is I am policy for uh, accessing S3 buckets in the destination account. So I have wrongly copied. Sorry for that. So air out of the target bucket you need to copy here so change this and go to properties you can find here the destination bucket ARN and paste it here so this is my ARN of the destination bucket which I need to give access for IAM which I have logged in with the user so review policy so I'll give it as dynamo So this policy has been attached to my IAM role so with this I can access my uh, destination S3 bucket uh, from exporting my DynamoDB table to the destination account. So that's it and uh, you can go ahead and uh, copy this target S3 policy and you need to hit enter. So you need to copy and before that you need to give IAM role ARN and uh, ARN of the target bucket also. So copy the IAM ARN. So this is my ARN of the source account. So you need to paste it here. And ARN of the target bucket which is which you have copied before. So you need to give here ARN of the target bucket. So what this policy will do is so this is ARN of the source account I am ARN. So this a user will access into the destination account of the destination bucket S3. So your table will be going to export from uh, source account to destination with using I am ARN. So copy this code and go to permissions and edit bucket policy and paste it here. So this I am ARN will access your destination bucket from the source account so this is where you can uh, copy the policies for the bucket so I have given all the permissions and go back to the source account which I have stopped here right there 
so this is my how to export table to amazon s3 in the destination account so click on export if you see here in the additional settings you can uh, you can uh, create as per your case a specific point of time like a backup and then maybe be the json or amazon io and it is like a rich source uh, text format and if you want to give encryption uh, you can give customer kms uh, i will go with the amazon default as kms so click on export so it is saying that exporting so it will take some time to export for, from source account to destination account so if you see here in my destination account there are no objects before so the folder has been created and some data has been copied so if you see here october 29 and this is october 29 of the date so it is copying some data raw data from the source so if you see here exporting the test time will be table to the s3 destination bucket of the s3 bucket You need to wait for uh, the completion state. When it is completed, you can go ahead and uh, go ahead into the target account and you can uh, import uh, the table from the source account which you have created. So let me pause the video when it is done. welcome back guys so the demo db table export has been done and you can see here the complete status so go back to the target account and check the s3 bucket some data is has been copied so this is my amazon aws dynamo db uh, the export uh, command which we have is in the destination bucket so it has uh, generated some manifest files with this manifest file we can uh, Im uh, import the table from uh, the destination account so go back to the DynamoDB table in the target account. And if you see here in the dashboard, I have don't have any alarms or uh, clusters. And if you see in the tables, I don't have any tables. So here you can find the option as import from S3. So if you need to click here and you need to import from S3 and you need to go on browse S3 and you need to click your bucket choose your bucket and you can say this uh, s3 bucket owner is your uh, account id it's 8248 this is my account id so you, the bucket owner should be the same uh, which you have going to import the table and import file compression is uh, default it is in gzip compression so you need to click on the gzip compression uh, choose the compression type that matches your source s3 data so import file format is DynamoDB JSON file. So click on next. So you need to it will ask for you need to uh, enter the table which you want the same as, as in the source account. So enter the partition key. I have given SPK. And the sort key is for SK. And you can uh, go ahead for default settings or you can customize settings from here also. And click on next and it will ask for you to review and click on import so it is taking time to import so don't confuse between these two so i have tested for on 25th october so it has been completed so this is my recently recent one which i have imported so it will take time to import the data So let me pause the video and it is, it is completed i'll uh, resume it welcome back guys so the import has been failed so due to reasons uh, some reasons it has been failed so you can if you have if you can see here in the target account the table is test time or dv table so if you go back to the s3 and if you can see in the files so there is a type folders or a data folder so it is in json format so you need to click this gz file so it is in gunzip format so you need to go back to import 
and you need to click here browse s3 and choose your folder and you need to give uh, user data so you need to give the path for this uh, gun zip where the data is stored so you need to copy this so you need to copy this and give it here so it will ask for a uh, uh, gun zip compression so you need to click on next and you need to give the name as uh, your uh, own table in the source account so i have given the same partition key and the sort keys and you can leave it as uh, as per your reference uh, i can go with the default settings so click on import so it is asking the table already exists so you need to delete the existing table and you need to click on import so go to tables you see here the dash timer table is already there so you need to click delete uh, the existing timer db table and you need to import so let me wait uh, when it is deleted so it has been done so import from s3 so you need to copy this url uh, where is this uh, copy the url and select the ggp compression of the data so it is in json.gz so click on next and copy the table name and give it as the same primary key and sort keys so i'll go with the default settings as I said earlier, so click on import. So if you see here in the view details, it is importing. So it will take some time to import. So let me pause the video and it will completed. Welcome back, guys. So the import has been done completed. So what what we have did uh, is a minor mistake. Like we have not specified the entire path URL. So where it is fetched from the the source so you need to give entire path where it, the data has been stored so you need to go ahead and, uh, in the bucket and uh, this folder and it will be in uh, the data so the dynamo db table it is in uh, uh, in gunzip compression so you need to click on this so if you go back to tables in the target account so refresh the button so it is in active state and check the data which is in the source account so you have some data like uh, Uh, this is my data and test demo so you it, it should be appear in the target account also so click on explore table items so this is where you can successfully migrate your tables from the source account to the destination account so this is where uh, it happens and uh, we need to give the specific uh, destination path and you need to go with a gun zip compression it is in default format so what happens is in the dynamo db table it will create a backup from the source account so I'll, I'll 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 show you how to see that so here it will create a backup copy and this backup copy will uh, copy to s3 from uh, one account to different account so this is where the dynamo db table works so that's it guys uh, you can uh, check this uh, overview of indexes monitor as i have explained about indexes and global tables it it will uh, you can uh, replicate this table in uh, different regions also without any like infrastructure so that's it guys uh, this is done so thanks for watching my video please do like share and subscribe for more videos if you have any queries please post in the comment box thank you